the Joe Rogan experience. In a perfect world, where would you like all this to end? I want the walrus. Sounds crazy. My dream is I'm going to free whales. There's going to be a sanctuary. I'm going to free marine lands whales. I'm going to have a hand in this. That's going to happen. Number you two. You really think that's going to happen? You think they're going to enact legislation that makes them release those animals? I think so, yes. Really? Yes. What makes you so hopeful? Well, S203, they, Marine Lands tried to kill this bill for years now. They've not been able to. And this time next week, this, su this sucker should go. That whale sanctuary, sanctuary project, they're going to build a whale sanctuary. There's going to be a place for whales. If it's in Canada and all the exportation laws are that Marine Land can't get rid of their whales, there will only be one place for whales if that business elects to evolve or if there's any type of ownership changes. I so see this being a real Explain to me how this sanctuary would work. Well, you'd have an environment where it is uh, penned off in the ocean and, you know, there'd be, I mean, various different pens for various different procedures, if you will. But the idea is that you, if they can't be wholly released, then you've got a place where they have a sense, a semblance of, of, of freedom, if you will. But it'll be in human care. There'll be more of like, for instance, a viewing platform where people will be able to view the whales versus... And you know, how big of an area are we talking about? Oh, massive, yeah. I, don't, I can't say the square footage. I don't know because they, they, nothing's finalized yet. So We're still like, in the development. Would they develop a bay or something? Would they... You would want to ideally get a bay that has good water change over that, you know, that, that works if you can find that. And I mean, the East Coast is looking really good these days. Is there a model that they've... Uh, drawn up not oh well, there's models yeah no absolutely there's can blueprints we, can we look at something like uh, this online? if you look up the whale sanctuary project i'm sure you'll find tons of different how, things i just don't know how they're keeping the orcas in those things if you put a fence up they're not going to go anywhere they wouldn't jump the fence uh, they don't it, it, there's something about jumping out i mean when the when the wild captures happen this these, is, what do we got here there's the whale sanctuary we're, project. we're building a model sanctuary where captive whales and dolphins can re re habilitated and live permanently in their natural environment. So it's a step. So this is a step between this and then the the wild. Yes. No, are they going to free them and then release fish in there for them to eat? I How? imagine there'll be all of that. Every which so way. So that would be them. nice too to allow them to actually hunt and kill the fish, oh, which I'm sure that's what they want to do. The fact that they can feel the natural rhythms of the sea. I mean, they're in tune with the sea yeah. they're in their environment. The pool's no place Look for at them. what it says here. Um... Four medium four years median survival time uh, in years for wild caught orcas at a marine park four years, one thousand one hundred square yards of space in a large display tank in a typical high end marine tank, three hundred fourteen thousand six hundred is the minimum number of square yards for the first whale sanctuary project, seaside sanctuary. So this is three hundred and fourteen thousand six hundred square yards so it would be a massive place 105 is the number of captive orcas and belugas in north america so that includes marine land so marine land has half the belugas in north america it's crazy it's crazy and they fly under the radar because no one wants to talk about them right 24 7 round the clock care care for the whales at the sanctuary that sounds beautiful marine land's threatened to sue uh these people? A lot of these people. Oh, a lot of somebody yeah. fucking. I am, dude. Yeah. Me, not I know, somebody. But Me. more. We need more well, than just coming. you, it seems like. Fuck, man. People listening, please get involved. This is a, a great step, though. I love this idea of uh, this step. You know, like have something that's like a bridge between a captive and the wild. Also, it would allow their atrophy dorsal fins to to reinvigorate they, right? they could start diving deep again i mean yeah. i don't know how deep it necessarily but well, I mean, at least a little bit and get you could train yeah. these animals to physically take them for walks if you will. i guess you'd call them swims where you right. would be able to leave and have them just follow a boat and go for some exercise you could totally do, i mean the it really the, the the things that this is going to present the opportunities for these animals is brilliant and amazing and the board is comprised of all your all your wild animal brilliant scientists i mean this is the project this is the future <laughs>